for this activity, I will be using beetroot instead of red cabbage because it is very hard to find red cabbage in my area. Slice it into small pieces, place them in a pot, and fill with enough water to cover the pieces. Heat mixture in a stove and boil for 30 minutes. Cool then collect the beetroot juice into a glass jar or bowl. As we can see, a red extract was collected from the boiled beetroot. Now we have our natural indicator. To make this experiment faster and easier, I already prepared small amounts of each household items in small white bowls and I also put labels for each samples. Now let's test our indicator. First is the lemon juice. As you can see, it turns red. Next is the soapy water. As we can see, it slowly changes its color. When beetroot juice was mixed with lemon juice, we can see that there's no color change at all. It still remains red, which means that lemon juice is an acid. But when it is mixed with soapy water, it changes its color into something dark, which means that soapy water is a base. Now let's proceed to the remaining materials. Now let's wait for a few minutes and observe any color changes to our samples. Take note that the beetroot indicator will remain red on an acid and will change its color when mixed with a base.
National Debt and or Experiment, which is classifying common household items into acids or bases using a simple indicator. Now let's proceed to part two. Place a spoonful of baking soda into the mixing bowl. Get the vinegar. And then slowly add a spoonful of vinegar into the baking soda. Observe what happens. When the two ingredients were mixed, bubbling occurred. One of the possible products of the reaction is a gas. Based on the previous experiment in part 1, we have two reacting ingredients here that we can identify as an acid or a base. The acid one is the vinegar and the base is the baking soda. That ends our experiment. Thank you for watching.